Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome back to another Axel Let's Play presented by Dungeon Duke Productions, if you don't know my voice. My name is Brandon, I'm the DM for the Dungeons and Doofuses podcast, amongst other things. And uh, we are picking back up with Call of Cthulhu. And we are in the Hawkins Mansion right now. And this is really weird. Um... Okay. Who goes there? Good, I get another point. What am I going to put it in? I haven't put anything in psychology. I don't think I'm going to start now. How about investigation? Wait, I got two character points? What the heck? Absolutely. That All nightmare right. again. I need a drink. So we have uh, escaped from the asylum where we were being tormented. I'm sure we missed a whole bunch of stuff. We're back in the Hawkins mansion. How do you feel? I feel great. Did I sleep long? How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I, th there are things I, I can't explain. I did, because that dude definitely died. What happened? I mean, he died. Oh, come on. I don't have enough points for that. Dang. Uh. It's just psychology. It's too messing. How did you survive such a wound? What wound are you talking about? That blow Charles Hawkins inflicted. Wow. Don't tell me you for crying out loud. No, you had a serious head trauma. I know what I said. Anything else you wanted? There it right. is. What do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins men. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, then what? I. Uh, the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. Mm. And then I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Okay. Let's talk to Colden. Ooh. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins. It makes sense. A powerful. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a... Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Oh, I did that. Oh! Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families in ex Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Foot. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were- I know the risks. Do you wish to know anything else? Nothing, I'm done. I'm done. Wait, can I not be done? I met a friend. Of course, he's a patient. He? What? I'm not sure. Tell me how. Okay, I yeah. See what? Of what? Do you Sanders said. Sarah Hawkins. This makes no sense. You really think she's involved? Francis Sanders mentioned. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit. An art collector, you said. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household. I don't agree. But that truth may be biased. You're right. That seems wise indeed. Very well. It will affect my destiny. Don't end up in the hospital. <laughs> That's reassuring. Talk to Sanders' widow. What, am I just gonna leave? Oh, I am just gonna leave. Oh wow, that was fast. All right, Sanders' residence. Oh, is this still chapter six? Or ch yes, this is still chapter six. I wasn't paying attention. All right, it's done reloading. We're entering the Sanders residence. 
and I vaguely remember struggling with this one. You, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Oh, hello, cat. Well, well, look who's here. Okay, do we have anything to talk about? You know each other. We Our do. paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Okay, let me just sit on down. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. Oh, I was committed I to an insane asylum. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oh, well, I'm not good enough for that one. <laughs> uh... I expected to find you more grief stricken than this by the death of your husband. I do not like the tone of your illusion, sir. I had long months to weep every tear in my body and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. Okay. So I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria and grieving widow in my voice. Rest okay. assured, however, my anger is real. I need to understand. How, how could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Yeah, let's let's test out Mrs. Against. Sanders, I understand your grief and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me. Well, let me and see your leave. paintings. Can I see your paintings? Ah, there it is. Your husband talked to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor. A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can if it's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting than in doubt. Hold on. The shambler... Who else to paint such horrors? It is my only lead. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gap. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, yeah, I'm doomed. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Wait, what? Oh, coffee. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Interesting. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally, what did and Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Oh, there's something else. Okay. Music. House of Artists. Okay, no. 
Ah. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? There's more, okay. Ah! Wait, am I? Oh. The Shambler. I need to see it. Is my cultism going up at all? 20%. Well. Yeah, it's not very good. It's not very. Wait. I got some character points. Heck yeah. My psychology is at 25%. I'm gonna go. Yeah. It's fine. Let's go investigate the Shambler. All right, it's locked. It's locked. That's the front door. No, I don't know what I was thinking. That's nothing. I'm back. Let's try this again. Oh. Hello, cat. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a hat. I've got a lot of some can be more. What have you come looking? Let's try it. I have a well off client in Boston who heard before making an offer. Perfect, detective. The pretext? You're a good talker, Pierce. And you? I'm here on business. Irene actually doesn't intend to hang around. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. Hmm. <gasps> Got it open. I snagged a key. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Oh, yeah. Strange dreams. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting to finally give it away for nothing. Hmm. I could use one of those. More sleeping pills? A strange Amerindian pendant. Oh, my cultism went up five. Yeah. Medicine went up a little bit. Would you read the book? Is that a question? Absolutely. This will affect your destiny. It's kind of like monsters and unknown creatures. Oh man, 30% of cultism. All right, I'm feeling good now. All right. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Okay, these are pre-Columbian. So... Hmm. I don't want to give anything away. The but man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Nope. Oh, he's is he just but that's it? He's just looking at it? Why was he so interested in old weapons? I like that one. Well. This is going to go poorly. Wish me luck.
What the hell was that? Oh, good. Except I can't see anything. Did I just walk out in front of him? Down. This dagger looks different. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Go, 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 go. It's not bad. I'm losing my mind. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through Oh man, my occultism is not that good. I was attacked. I Dang. I ran. Scream. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I like to look after my You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. And by the way, it saved my life. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an act from what I saw in the ledgers. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. Now go see your antique seller. <laughs> well? These loading screens are legitimately the worst part about the game. All right, so the nameless bookstore. This is pretty cool. Somebody's been here before me. Cool guy move. Interesting. Where, where's the? I bet you didn't realize I am very. Oh, I've got two points. Yeah. Spot hidden. Bookseller. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Ah. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. I'm looking for secrets. History dark water. So if you're not catching on, something that's kind of cool about this is like um, back in the beginning, more history of dark water, the town used to be a whaling town. And that was kind of the big focus was on whaling and all that and expeditions. Um, and then if I recall correctly, and this is kind of elaborated through things you find and learn. Um, slowly, the whales started to disappear. And so their whole livelihood was just gone, right? The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Medicine. 
Wow, my cult is my cult system going up? Anyway, um, so like their whole livelihood was just gone, right? No whales, which means no food, no income, no nothing. And so then the story goes is there was this one great expedition, the last great what expedition of dark water, which was on the boat, the Scylla, which is what ties all these families together is they all have distant, distant Let's relatives who were on that boat, Where did they break the boat Scylla. Blood. Seems like amateur work. To whom does this footprint belong? So that last great voyage got the great find, the great whale, the great beast, as it's referred to. And that was the last major uh, expedition on this island. Yeah, that is most of the kind. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? What happened that made the burglar flee before? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime? What killed all these animals? What the? Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Okay. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Oh yeah, I'm probably not going to actually do it properly. I'm probably just going to look it up. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What yes, link they did are. You find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? What a strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Man, my occultism is moving 40%. Look at that. All right. Arkham oh, yeah. Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham, Edi Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham, Edi Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Way too many. Okay, is that it? Okay. Have I, have I discovered everything? Yeah. All right. Let me pause real quick while I uh, find the combination. Sorry, there's a puzzle that I'm just not interested. So this is going to be. Five. Three. Nine. A big giant occultism book. I'm going crazy. I'm back in the Institute. Oh, my gracious. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... 
He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? There's nothing we can do. Very Examine well. the patient. Thirty-year-old subject. Erythematous papules around the eyes and e His skin shows abnormal loss of color. His fingertips and toes seem to feature at slight... Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor? I'm not sure I have the necessary... No Don't say that. You're our most worried... Some of his symptoms are... What did you... Did yeah. Did examine his abdomen? He hasn't eaten in days. No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trick. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside... Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the you know... In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms... Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet... If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than... What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. Look at these sticky rings. I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he... He's constantly under perfusion. I've even... And you won't believe me, but... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these... What do you mean? No. This poor man is... F and this transformation... Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowitton, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Your imagination is without limit. It there, there. His limb? I don't know what experiments you've run. Oh, I sense some excitement. Could it be you wish to join? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... Fascinating. An animal, you say? Your reaction does. It's your innocent worries for this man, then. For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready. I will not let you do that. You disappoint me, Marie. But in the meantime, take care of your own patients and... Was that a threat? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this instant... My word is of no weight against his. It's scandalous. Can't... Oh, that evidence. I need to find the... And where would you find those? I'd rather not think about... Of course, Doctor. All right. I gotta sneak into the office. Hay fever. What's he doing here? I don't know who hay fever is. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. His perfusion oh. of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. <laughs> Nurse, Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. <laughs> oh, this is encouraging. Uh, what's wrong? What are you talking? Uh, yes, it it's the old whaling station. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. And that's how you broke your back. Perhaps. Okay. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Irene Sanders. Mrs. Sanders? Oh, oh, is uh, the wife of the uh, art collector. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. What is the boiler room key doing here? I don't know. I want it. Can I take it? Let me take the key it. key to the boiler room. Okay. Not where I expected to find it. You keep observing that, but I really just want to take the key. 
All right. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Oh, sure. I'm pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You bet you she doesn't see it. No, oh, this isn't it. This is the old, uh, lost station. Administration. It's a real I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donna. Nobody goes into. But rest assured. That won't be necessary. I will tell him. All right. I gotta distract Donovan. How might I distract Donovan? The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Dr. Colden. Okay. Dr. Colden, we need you at... What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be... I've done an exam. Dep and the family of Mrs. I'll never understand why it's... Rules are rules. Anyhow, they're still waiting and I don't... Understood. As a matter of fact, yes. Oh. You should go see for... In theory, this is where we hang the key. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Can I go to the boiler room? I don't have any business in the boiler room. No? I feel like I do, but okay. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase up once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from... Mm. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Interesting. Interesting. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Well, I'm stumped. How the heck do I do this? And I'm the one who pays. What a- Elizabeth? You alright? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it and the water was once again sh I had to bother Mrs. Donovan I Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? I can't make these decisions without her. Anyhow, the boiler room is So every time the water gets shut off- I see. Courage. Uh, thank you, Doc. Cut off the water. Absolutely. Ah, high security unit. Like a place that a uh, doctor could get into. No, not doctor dealing with our species today. There it is. Aha. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Yup. Where's the... Door. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I All right. I need a tool. Well, this is very, very interesting gameplay here. I need a tool to shut the valve. I hate to say it, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to look it up. Because all I'm missing is the stupid tool. Doctor? I'll tend to it. Ah. Smart, Brandon. There's the tool. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, 
but I need the diversion. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Really? I mean, you just shut it off. Might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. I can't take this. It's not your fault if we... And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna... Courage, Elizabeth. Aha! Go tell her the water doesn't work. Wait, did she disappear? Oh, I can just walk on in. Fast. The missing files must be hidden here. But a man like this wouldn't just leave those lying about. Or anything about, apparently. Is this something? It's locked. What would somebody hide behind a locked door? The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. So Hawkins files. interview. That was right. Um I feel like I'm looking for a key. Am I looking for a key? Hmm. Mm. Oh, let's the listen to the interview. Session number 17. Entrant, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusion of the effect of what she calls dreams. Why is Ethan on medication? It goes without saying that it is peculiar to you with her exceptional gifts. No. Yes. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Dang, I'm missing something. Come on now. Oh, there it is. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. I'm still missing something. Then James came. I'm great that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I feel like that shoe is significant. Man, what am I missing? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It still feels that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Ah. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Okay, what am I missing now? I feel like I'm done. Oh, the shoe. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Wait, really? Oh, give me a break. I should go another way. Yeah, smart. Yeah, let me just walk down to the basement. Knowing my luck, I'm going to end up in the psych ward.
Oh, great. Ah, now that's the Marie I knew I could count. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, great. Now I'm going to go save her. If you're going to shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. That was Algernon. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Oh, crap. I wish I had some psychology. <laughs> Master expert. There it is. Take a minute to look around. Everything points. He's dead. No. He was here. Oh. The book. Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to ass What did it show? My cultism is that poor? She went into Fuller's. She was looking for Sarah Hawk. Let's go back to the- Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. Yes. All right. I might need you at- Perfect. Let's meet later. Now go. Thank you, Drake. Chapter nine. We are back at the uh, the uh, the institute. Well, I can't talk. Um, all right, I'm going to take a break right there. It's been a little while. So I just want to say thank you again for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe or don't. I mean, like and subscribe even if you didn't like the video. Uh, leave a comment, leave a review. Check out the show notes for all the other content we're producing here at Dungeon Do Productions. And uh, until next time, please do take it easy.